Uh, they're in New York City. He's been in the business for 35 years. And according to Corey, he's had no prior types of jobs. So he's been in real estate since he came out of the womb, apparently. Uh, he's married to Jessica. They have a daughter, Bailey, and a son, Max, with two exes. Very cool. Uh, dog, Ali. His activities and hobbies of interest. He likes the New York Knicks. And in parentheses, he said, oi, which is very appropriate this, uh, this time of year. Health, wellness, and physical fitness, as I mentioned. He lives in Manhattan. He's been living in Manhattan for over 47 years. Wow. His burning desire, oh my God, I don't even know if I can say this. His burning desire is to do a 100-mile ultra marathon. Wow. Something no one knows about, Corey. He met Donald Trump prior to his presidency at a party, walked up to him, and got a meeting with him two days later to discuss a client. He had an additional meet with him and a banca, but unfortunately, no deal. Uh, the art of the deal just didn't come through, I guess, Corey. My keys to success for Corey, consistency, reliability, and availability. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Corey Zelnick. Thank you, Matt. Uh, good morning again, BNI. I am not in my home. I am in one of my spaces, trying to break away from the uh, norm a little bit. For those of you that are new to the group and some of you who don't remember because I made a presentation about a year ago, I was born in Queens, lived there for about 10 years of my life, and then I've been in the city for over 47 years now. As Matt mentioned, I am remarried and uh, my lovely wife is Jessica, my daughter Bailey and my stepson Double X Max. Uh, we, all, we live up at 79th Street. My daughter is a sophomore at the University of Maryland currently. Loving it. I am a University of Maryland grad. I'm glad she is there and loving it. And I love going down there and seeing how the world has changed at the school. They've done some great things there. It's very enjoyable to me. Um, <clears throat> as Matt said, I've been in this business in my career. I never really had any other jobs. I stepped right into it accidentally. Uh, had my bumps and bruises along the way. Early in my career, I did some brokerage, uh, hit some market uh, situations that uh, I took some serious lumps with and made a transition uh, to the corporate retail side and worked in-house at CVS Pharmacy at the time, uh, back in 93. They had no stores here in the New York City metro area. They hired me uh, to do that. And uh, through that, we opened up about 15 stores over the course of three years. They did things at a slow pace. I met some people along the way and left CVS, went back into the brokerage business and got involved um, with a gentleman named Jeff Winnick, who became my partner. I became his partner. He had a company. And collectively, we did about 200 Dwayne Reed drugstores over the course of nine years. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. I had the great opportunity to meet a lot of wonderful people on the landlord side. Uh, and even with my singular focus on Dwayne Reed, I met other tenants and uh, it was wonderful. It was just a tremendous experience learning uh, about the city on a real estate level. It was great growth uh, professionally for me. After about 10 years, uh, Jeff and I had our philosophical differences. And so about 16 years ago, I started my own company, uh, Zelnick and Company, doing the same thing. I represent landlords and I represent tenants throughout the city. We try to re uh, lease their retail space. And for the tenants, we try to grow their businesses. Current clients of mine include Smashburger, Panda Express, and for you locals, Lenwich Sandwich Shops. The things that we get involved with for these tenants are providing them with demographic studies, maps of the city, uh, take them a Smashburger, a chain out of Colorado that has never been in New York. We show them the whole city. We show them their competitors. We show them the best situations for them based on their needs. They wanna be where certain people are, whether it's the workforce in Midtown, or the Upper East Side. Uh, for those of you familiar with the Upper East Side, we took over a form of burger heaven and we're gonna turn it into a smash burger. They wanted to be busy, busy areas. We put them outside of Madison Square Garden, things like that. We, we cultivate our day-to-day -day based upon our clients' needs. We're a service provider. As far as landlords go, we take their space, we rent their space. So I, I chose this opportunity to try to be a little bit out of the box in terms of this presentation, I am currently seated on the steps within the space at 424 Madison Avenue, happens to be where my office is. I am looking to lease the retail space below my office. 
This was a former Joseph Abood flagship. So it's a little bit of a pitch. And I'm gonna go off camera for a second so I can show you some things. Bear with me, please. I will show you a little bit of the space as I fiddle with this toy. And this is the kind of thing that we do. We, we tour tenants around, we show them the space. I know it's very basic, but when we, when we put together a package for the various tenants, we use, we use the video system as part of our marketing. We make sure they get a tour of the space, a little bit different, uh, or not, I should say not so different from touring an apartment when you're out there touring. Um, and we use all of these tools in our marketing system. And one of the other things that we do as I proceed outside of the space, and this is PD, pre Drucker, <laughs> that we put together signs like this to market the property, to give them the information about the company, our phone number. We break down the space with a sign like this. And Dave, David knows he's my guy next time around. And then along the way, we do stuff like this to brand the company. And a lot of this work has gotten us a lot of exposure. As I mentioned earlier, Instagram has been great to us. LinkedIn has helped us tremendously in terms of our marketing. And yes, I am walking down the street. There is a purpose to this walk. I also want to mention through some of my marketing efforts, I am working on finalizing a deal. These are my street clothes. This is what I do every day. Pardon the noise. I'm working on finalizing the deal with uh, 77 WABC radio for the Bernie and Sid show, where I make periodic appearances to talk about New York City, New York City real estate market, and the positivity and the comeback of the city. I have found a sponsor, and we're working on a regular segment, segment excuse me, that we should have uh, on a bi-weekly basis. Coming up shortly. The reason why I am taking you down the street is I want to show you the other part of the business, which is a little bit of our tenant representation. Um, we represent Lenwich, as I had mentioned. And when COVID came around, we had to spend days on end renegotiating 19 leases to keep them in place. And in some cases, we got challenged by the landlord. They didn't want to help him. So he closed up some shops. He paid his bills. And we worked on some relocations. And as it happens, we had the ability uh, to relocate a lend which that was on West 48th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. And bring them right around the corner from my office and down the block from this other location to 47th Street between Madison and 5th. And unfortunately, they're scaffolding, but this is the end result of our efforts. This is the kind of stuff that we do for all of our clients. Again, they have needs, specific needs for certain neighborhoods. We work very focused when we had that pressure. Uh, this was a, there was a lot of pressure. The store that he had had on 48th was a very strong store for him. And we needed, we needed to work on that. It was very, very important. We turned, we turned over every leaf we could we were able to pull that off. And we had a favorable situation with the landlord. You know, he was in a position where he lost his previous tenant and he needed to create income. And that's the kind of stuff that we do. That's our basic day-to-day -day is representing the spaces, representing our tenants. Some of the back of the house stuff that we do is just straight up consulting. And sometimes we just don't get paid for it. But we're there, we work through lease clauses. Uh, to the best of our ability. Again, I've been negotiating leases for 30 years uh, or more, but I do know I do know the line. And when I, when I hit that line, I call pe I will be calling people like Elaine Pangos, who, by the way, in her commercial today, I think she was speaking directly to me. Uh, so I will uh, up my efforts to try to refer some business over to Helene. So generally speaking, this is this is what we do. I love it. I'm on the streets every day. I don't always carry a camera, but we do from time to time. It's very important to expand our brand. And it's been very helpful to myself and my team, which I have um, forgotten to mention. So I'm going to bring them up now. We have a group of seven 
I have the director of marketing who controls my Instagram and my LinkedIn. And I have uh, two guys out in the boroughs and two in the city. And we are a fabulous group. And I would not be anywhere near where I am today if I didn't have that team and that assistance on a, day, on a daily basis. I wish more of them would come back into the office, but the transition to remote is not that difficult for us because we literally, we literally are a streets business. So my guys are out on the street on a regular basis. My head of marketing, marketing was in New Jersey and technology allows us to work uh, very well together. I'm back in the space. I hope it's a little quieter. I hope you were able to hear that through all that of that noise. And I welcome any referrals. I, uh, as it relates to this business, Daniel and I have been speaking on a regular basis, and we're trying to put some things together. Todd and I have been trying to do some things, and I think there are a lot of people in this group that I can work with. Uh, Cynthia Peacock and I are destined to do some business together, and I'm going to jump the line as as I close here. Uh, based on Todd's uh, statement about thoughts and about BNI. This is my one year anniversary and it's been an unbelievable experience uh, for this year. I did have the wonderful benefit of a fabulous referral uh, from Roy James, which turned out to be um, a solid moneymaker. And then it just stopped and it's a new thing for my shtick when I'm making a pitch that I've work through a war and it's certainly I'm not fighting it by any stretch of the imagination, but the company he gave me is a Russian based company and we did a lot of business with them. And then it just stopped because of the war. Uh, look, who knows if it's ever going to change, but I do welcome all of the referrals that I've gotten thus far. I hope to turn it into something. And most importantly, uh, a debt of gratitude to a large part of this group that I've become very friendly with. And I look forward to, uh, learning more about the rest of you and speaking more to you. And uh, it's just been great. And so thank you very much. That is my presentation. Corey, as evidenced by the uh, galleries uh, clapping and the chat room blowing up, <laughs> uh, phenomenal presentation, out of the box oh. thinking, uh, you, are you. A, uh, you are a marketing um, guru, and we appreciate uh, 